Hi guys, Sabina here. Welcome to my quilting life. Today is Sunday and I am putting together a project to get it done. So if you're new to my channel, head down that way there, this side right there. <laughs> Subscribe to my videos. Also like my videos and uh, comment on them and share them. Uh, I'm trying to get this started on here. Oh, there it is. Sometimes it's like waiting and sometimes it's not. That's the weirdest thing. Weirdest thing. So, uh, yesterday, you guys remember, I had Frank and Peace. I thought I was going to come back on, but then I went to sleep. Yeah, that was the weirdest thing. I went to sleep. So, I am awake now, and it's morning time. It's only 1030 in the morning here. And um, I've already started trying to get some work done. Uh, hi, Lisa. I wish I could watch that. I was about to head out the door. I'll check as soon as it's posted. Thanks, Tiff. All right, Tiffany. We'll see ya. All right, so I am stitching and flipping this quilt. So you could call it pillow turn style, or you could call it the no binding method, which is what I call it. It's the no binding method. That way I don't have to come back and bind this thing. Hi, June. Hi, Jim. And um, reason for that is because I this... I did not add, I mean, there's a couple blocks in here that have interfacing left on them from my customer's um, uh, memory quotes, but this is just a little side project that I'm going to give to her as a Merry Christmas. I'm thanking her for, you know, coming to me for, to have made two quilts and I didn't want to throw the rest in the garbage. So this can just be for children or other family members that are lay on the couch so that everybody gets a chance to cuddle with their dad or grandpa or uncle or whatever you know what I mean or it can be a picnic quilt or whatever they want so I'm not adding that much effort into this one it <laughs> I call it the ugly quilt because it didn't turn out very good but then I was just sewing all the leftovers together and having fun with it um hi Teresa hi Gwen hi Joe uh hi Melinda hi June you're not actually going to quilt it, right? Yeah, No, I'm just going to tack it down. So okay. I want to be able to explain this to everyone. And I didn't want to have you guys watch me struggle with the crawling around on the living room floor or dining room floor, whatever part of the house that's considered, because it's like in between the two. <laughs> um, and I want to be able to explain this to you guys as best as possible. I'm going to pull an end up right here, and I'm hoping it stays flat. Now, I could tell you from experience that... This method goes best with cotton batting. It does. It, it's absolutely so much easier. But unfortunately, I don't have any cotton batting and I'm not going to go purchase any just for this project. So with that being said, I am using the big polyester that I uh, franken pieced yesterday. And it makes this a little bit more challenging because it is so thick. And I'm going to be running it along the feed dogs of the Juki which it sticks just a little bit more than it does on the brother because the feed dogs on the Juki are a little bit more teethier. <laughs> they're really, they're meant for heavy duty. You know, this is meant for, it's not meant for sewing through um, batting directly, which is going to be the challenge as well as the secondary challenge I'm going to have with this quilt top alone is because this is all the stretch every single one of this this is all bias fabric this whole entire thing so i have to be very careful when i'm going over it to go over it as kind of slow as i can to keep from stretching all these fabrics because i'm going to have puckers like you would not believe and if i put my walking foot on it will help with that but again i'm not using cotton batting so what's going to happen with the walking foot is it's going to put too much pressure and if i lift my presser foot pressure gauge up then I'm not going to be able to have really tight, nice stitches. So it's one of those should I or shouldn't I, should I or shouldn't I situations. And I'm probably going to put the walking foot on and lift this up. But just know that this can also be done with the regular foot if you're using non-biased fabric and cotton batting. <laughs> because it makes it easier. Um, hi Kay. Hi Kim. You need to adjust your feed dogs so they're not up as high. My brother has three settings. Uh, no, I cannot, unfortunately, on this Juki. It does not have that. Um, so before I go and switch to the walking foot, I want to show you how this is put together. 
it's very simple, very simple. This is the easiest thing you can do besides the crawling around on the floor part. If you have a nice big table, it makes this go so much easier. And I'm going to remove this pin right here so that you can see. I have it pinned. So first off, you put your batting down on whatever surface, the floor or table or what have you. Your batting goes down first. Okay. Then you take your quilt backing fabric. And I am just using, again, a sheet that's, it was a bottom sheet, so that's why it looks kind of weird. I had to cut the, the corners and all the elastic out, which, yeah, so, but next you take, so it's the batting, and then the second piece is your back quilt back. And that needs to be right side up, facing me. So the pretty side is facing up, no matter what fabric you're using, your pretty side is up. Batting smoothed out, quilt back, put it on top, smooth use any sprays because that's just going to make everything harder in the end. So then your quilt back goes facing you. Then your quilt top, here's my quilt top, goes on that facing down. So if you could see all your seams, you're doing good. So make sure that your quilt top is the pretty side facing the pretty side of your quilt back. So that goes facing down. So I have all my seams visible to me. So again, batting first, flatten everything out, put your back fabric on facing up, facing you. You can see the pretty side nice and clear. Smooth that out and then put your quilt top on pretty side facing down so that you can see all of your nice, wonderful, messed up seams. <laughs> So once everything is on, smooth everything out as best as you can. I mean, it does not have to be 100% perfect, but if you want a nice flat laying quilt, which I'm not going to have here, you definitely want to smooth everything out. And again, do not use basting spray because that will just ruin it. Then go around the whole entire thing with pins, put pins in through all three layers, all around the whole entire thing, and even in the middle if you want. I didn't put it in the middle, I just put it around the edges because I'm just too lazy to add any more pins. Seriously, I am. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how that goes. And I, I know that we're skipping that step and I'm just showing you right here, but it's batting. Again, cotton is the best for doing this. Then your backing fabric facing you, nice and pretty. You can see that, so it would be the wrong side to the batting and or right side facing you. And then your quilt top facing down, which is pretty side down and all your seams are exposed. Then we're gonna come over to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew it, that simple. And this stops you from having to do binding as well as it allows um, it allows you to not have to quilt the quilt. You can tie, you can uh, tie it. This is how tie quilts are done. Usually, sometimes some of them get binding, but tie quilts are done this way, as well as um, non-binding quilts. This, this is the no-binding method. So I'm going to put my walking foot on here. It requires me to take my screw all the way out to do this. I'm going to slide this on here. And Scott is very intrigued to see how this works. So he is in here and he will be reading comments as well as watching because he's like, I don't understand what you are talking about. I need to visually see this. <laughs> I don't see how you're going to make the batting back go into the middle. Yeah, he doesn't understand how this is going to work. So for those of you that are like Scott and have never done this before, even with wall hangings or anything like that, this hopefully will help you understand the process. Um, now there's one other thing I could tell you. If you want, this is 100% up to you, if you're using um, cotton batting, you can trim away all the excess except for like, I don't know, like an inch or so all the way around. You could trim it up because you're pinning it anyway and you have cotton batting and everything smoothed out and flat. I am for, unfortunately, I'm using poly batting. As you could tell, it does not lay very flat. It's also Franken pieced together. So I left it all hanging and after I sew, then I'm gonna go ahead and trim. But for now, I'm just leaving all my excess hanging here purposely 
so that I know I have plenty of room. Also, another thing is you can round your corners if you want to, or you can leave them nice and square. I'm just going to leave them square, but you could also, when you're sewing this, go around and make a curve to your corners um, if you want to. That's up to you. I'm just gonna leave mine square, but I just wanted to make sure I threw that in there before I changed my bobbin because I just realized I haven't done that yet. I've done placemats this way and everyone's saying hi to Scott. Hi. All right, so I'm gonna hand this over to Scott Hello, and everyone. I am gonna change my bobbin. I changed my top thread, but I didn't get a chance to do the bobbin because I was totally um, talking there. <laughs> so again, it is batting, then it is your backing face up. Mary and Jane then, says hi. Hello. And then your um, quilt top facing down. That way, all three layers are here. It looks funny. You are sewing from the wrong side, but in the end, it all works it out. And I'm going to pull this pin and fix that. Just Kay a says little. she's done small quilts and table runners this way. Yeah, it's so easy. I do most table. I try to do most table runners this way. But then some table runners just speak to me and say, "Oh, I want to be bound. Bound me." <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put binding on them. It just depends on how much you want to accent your fabric. If you don't care, and this is all the only way you can do it because you don't have to say the throat, sp the throat space to quilt it, this is probably the best way. And I don't have any... Um, Hi, everyone. I don't have any... Uh, uh, what is it called? Yarn to tie this. That's why I'm going to be, while on camera, I'll show you. I'm just going to add some stitching here and there as if I was tying the quilt. Um, just to make it nice and flat and so on and so forth. So I'm going to leave all of my pins in the pretty much the whole entire time I do this and then I'll pull them before I trim and flip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this whole entire project as carefully as I can. It's getting stuck to the end of my table. And I am going to adjust this a little. I'm also going to slide this as best as I can under my foot. Suan says hi. Hi, Suan. Hello. All right. And I'm making sure that everything stays flat. And I am going to the edge of my quilt top. Edge of my quilt top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew all the way around the whole entire thing, except I'm going to leave an opening. And I think I'm going to leave my opening up at the top, which is all the way on that side instead of on all these very stretchy bias seams because everything is bias here like there's stretch everywhere so i'm going to be very careful for that with because this is a totally different than a normal project <coughs> but, so is sewing too she's making christmas stockings how wonderful so i'm going to go ahead and start right here just at the bottom because it's closest to me and I'm going to stitch all the way until I get to my part where I want to leave open. Then I'll skip that with a gap and then come, you know, probably about 20 inches of opening because I really want room to flip this. And it's very big. Again, this was, what was it? 70 something by 90 something. It's pretty big. It's another twin size. So this Vicky lady is getting hi. the hookup. Hi, She's Vicky. She's in pain, but she says hi. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm also hi, going Vicky. to be stitching this with a bigger stitch length, with a three. I have this on a three because the bigger the stitch length, for me personally, because I have such thick batting, the easier this will go. And plus it's getting an extra stitch all the way around the edge once I flip it anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead, line my presser foot up, and I am stitching about a quarter to five eighths of an inch. Yeah, that'd be five eighths, the next one up. All the way around this whole entire thing. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna start with the back stitch and I'm just gonna carefully, as, as careful as I can be with this because I don't want anything to get totally ruined and wonky. As This is totally different than normal. This does not get flat. This is the non-flattest quilt ever in the world. Also, my walking foot is loud. It sounds like a machine gun, so just be aware of that. That does kind of sound like a weird feeling. Do you want me to help you move it's, that? It's because the batting is sticking. Do you want me to help you move it?
No, I'm good. I got it. I'm definitely attempting my best to keep everything flat. I'm not removing my pins because I don't want anything to move while I do this. And this is pretty uh, frustrating if it gets too out of whack. And I'll be trimming afterwards anyway. So if I have any weird puckers or anything like that, hopefully in my trimmings I can fix it all. And make everything look more normal. You can see it. I mean, it's not completely hard to do this, but it is a little bit challenging. So I'm coming here to the bottom. Everything is as flat as I can keep it. Again, pin, 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 pin. Pin everything really nicely. I'm going to come to this edge. I'm going to backstitch, leave my needle down, turn the whole entire thing, and then shoot down this edge. Everything's nice. And what I'm going to do is adjust it onto my lap. The whole entire thing is turned. Try not to lose my pedal. Again, I'm just making sure everything stays flat. And pins stay in. I'm also like forcefully pushing seams the way it, they can go to make it seem flatter with less pucker. Because it is stretchy fabric. And again, I don't want all those puckers from the front side to be completely and utterly funky looking. So I'm just making sure everything's staying nice and flat. My pin got stuck to my walking foot. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Do you want me to unpin it as you go? Huh? Do you want me to like unpin it as you go or something? No, I want the pins to stay in, but it did okay. shove it through that fabric funky. Again, I'm just trying to keep everything as flat as it was when I pinned it. <laughs> this will not this will not be a perfect quilt at all. I can tell you that now. They will love it. It will be loved and used, I'm pretty it's sure, but it's not perfect. To be designed, they will love it. This is just me using up everything. That way I didn't have to throw any of daddy's clothes away. Merry Christmas, Sue Ann Swenson. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. I'm pretty sure you guys will see me between now and Christmas because I've been going on as every day as possible. Plus this is not, for those who are joining, this is not so Sunday right now. That will be later at five, like always. So I will come back and work on other things then. All right, so my opening is gonna be left up here in this section right here, can you see that? I'm going to leave it right here, but I'm also going to stitch at the edge and at the edge and just leave the rest open when I get to it. So let's just get that flat, keeping everything nice and flat. As flat as I can get it. And then I'll stitch right past that seam. Where I'm going to leave my opening, and I'm leaving it open on stretch t shirt. But all right, so now I'm going to go forward, knocking everything over while I'm at it. <laughs> I'm going to come to this other side now because I broke thread, and I'm going to back stitch right here and continue all the way the rest of the way around now with no more breakage. Thank you. 
This is so fluffy, it's hard to keep this thing flat. I'm get again, I'm sewing with like half or quarter inch to five eighths inch, somewhere right there, but not fully a half an inch. You could sew a half an inch if you, your quilt top is not very big of, you know, if you don't have tons of little tiny seams where you want to keep points at your edge. But this way works just fine as well. And I'm back stitching at both edges, at, at all the corners, <laughs> both directions. Okay, oh, he says, thank you for the parcel her son received in North Carolina. He says it looks really cool. I also awesome. received my new Juki on Friday, so it was a good week. Awesome. That's that's great. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to pull this side up onto me. But yeah, that's funny. Remember, she was in South Africa and whatnot, yep. and we sent her box to her, her son, son in North Carolina. Yep. Yeah. He has to remind me because sometimes I don't remember. Actually, most times I don't remember. What's really weird is I could remember all sorts of quilting stuff, but I can't remember what happened five minutes ago. <laughs> that is true. My long-term memory works. It's my short-term memory that kind of sucks. All right. This one better not get stuck. All right, so I'm just gonna keep everything nice and flat this whole entire time. Do we know what kind of Juki Penny got? No. She can tell us what kind of Juki she got. Is it the same as yours? That's what I was wondering. Stay flat. Like totally messing up in my lap here. Lots of maneuvering. Lots of maneuvering. <laughs> but it'll get done. Okay, so I'll add another corner. Just making sure it's all flat. I'm gonna turn it. You guys can see the, the wonderful backings of this quilt. <laughs> Vicky says AMC TV has Christmas cartoons for kids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that what you're doing, Vicky? You watching Christmas cartoons? <laughs> All right. So I go down this side, which is a top, I think. Penny said she got the Juki TI 2000 QI. Ah. I've not tried it out yet. This is with a quote for a friend leaving tomorrow. So tomorrow is the day I play with it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. And which one's yours? Mine is yeah. the TL 2010Q. Oh, okay. So now I have yeah. made it all the way around. Here is the part that I'm hoping looks half decent. I'm going to go ahead and start trimming all this away now, and then I'll pull my pins out. So I'm just gonna line up to the edge of the quilt. So I'm lining to the edge of the quilt top, and I'm gonna start trimming all this excess. Let me help you cut. No, I got it. Okay, do you want me to pull trim. pins as you go? Um, if you want to, you can, yeah. Well, I need something to do. Pull pins then. 
right, so I'm just going to continue on adjusting, pushing it out of the way. What fell on you? The tablet? The tablet fell on his foot. And that has to hurt because it's heavy. It's a heavy little tablet. So I'm just trimming everything away. up to here cut that away so all this is just trash besides my batting my batting will go in my stuff of hello pile oops bourbon said hi hello all right so again i'm just going to line this up i'm going to trim all my excess away if you have already pre-trimmed it that makes it so much easier and you can tell i'm not too perfect with my trimming we're going to stick this out of the way so I don't fall well, I'm in. just going to stand here and make you wait. That's what you're going to do. Well, then that's why I just said I'll pull the pins afterwards. Because it'll be easier. All right. So I'm just going to continue on shopping all this. You can see I'm not really like putting my ruler down fancy or anything. I'm just... laying this on here. I'm also trying to make sure that there's no folds because I'm using poly batting so it's moving around under there like quite a bit. And he says look at it upside down. It looks as if it would have looked nice ragged as well. Yes it would have. <laughs> it would have been a nice rag quilt. Diana but says hi and Merry Christmas. Hi and Diana. Hello. The ends of these kind of fabrics don't fray. That's the sucky part. So it would have looked nice as a rag quilt, but it wouldn't have frayed. It would have just, you would have had to snip all those snips because this fabric don't fray. It was from stretchy t-shirt fabrics and those, as we know, do not fray. Brenda says happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. From Kentucky. Are you kidding me? Come on. Again, all that. I'm just tossing in the garbage. Oh, no. You use the excess stuff. Well, yeah. The rest of the fabric, though, that gets cut goes in the garbage. I'm not using any of the excess fabric. It's going in my garbage fabric pile. I have to be very careful because the batting is like grabbing on my desk. I'm also cutting where I left my opening. I know, but I have to fold it anyway, so might as well just cut it away. Some people leave more fabric for the fold, but I'm where not going to bother. Your opening? Right here at the top. Here's the opening Yeah. at the top. And I can still fold that when I get to that you part. you want to put an extra pin in there or something? Okay, I'm stuck on something with this batting. Do you want to put an extra pin in there? Nope. Okay. So Anne says, happy Sunday to you also. I'm off to church for a Christmas program today. God bless everyone. How wonderful. Yeah, our church used to do Christmas programs years ago. I'm feeling they're not doing it this year because of everything going on. Yeah, the pastor yeah. has COVID. My mom used to... Uh, do the, the costumes for the kids. They used to do a kid's thing. My mom used to help make the costumes. That was years ago, though. I think I'm on my last side, hopefully. <laughs> see this goes pretty quick Lisa says hi 
Tiffy Poo give, giggling over Kevin the Quilter. Oh, yeah, he calls me Tiffy Poo all the time. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. It's my, it's my new nickname. She's Tiffy Poo. <laughs> but only Kevin gets to do that. <laughs> it's funny. I think my aunt used to call me Tiffy Poo when she wasn't calling me Tui Tui Tutu. Does he come on here and watch you too? No. Kevin Not that I know of. Him? Oh. If he does, he doesn't talk. Uh, All right. Well, I was on tea last night, right? Yeah. Because I was watching tea with you. All right. There we go. So the only other thing that I do to make this be so much nicer and lay easier is the reason, remember, I backstitched at every corner like double back stitched at all these corners. I'm going to snip away up to my stitching, but not the stitching. And then I'm gonna kind of just go a little bit down. That way I pull away all that thickness from that corner. I'm gonna do that on all four corners. So again, I'm just gonna. <laughs> Lisa says it could be worse. They call me Lisa Lou Who. <laughs> <laughs> Where you know the, the yeah, who's from Whoville? Yep. <laughs> it's funny. We all probably have some really kooky nicknames. So I'm just trimming out all of my corners up to the stitching, but not on the stitching. And I kind of pull just a little bit extra away. That way it's not so thick once I turn this. And I still have to remove all the pins, but. I've been taking them out as you go a little bit here and there, so you don't have that many. Okay. So I snipped all of my corners, and now I'm going to sit here, and me and Scott will remove all these pins real quick. I've taken out five. Because I don't so need all of them, except for leave this one for a minute. My opening. So all my pins, I did not put any pins around the, the center areas, only put the pins in the outer outskirts, the skirts of the quilt. What did you do to that one? Some of them are bent for Good easy. Good Lord. Looks like you sat on it, honey. Tiffy Poo done sat on it. Oh, See, now he's going to start the whole Tiffy Poo thing. He actually says Tiffy Poo all the time. He sings this weird song. I wasn't going to do it online if you're going to put it in my head. <laughs> If you're going to put it on my head, I'm going to start doing it, though, because you're putting it in my head, but I wasn't going to. It's funny. Because I was thinking it, but I wasn't going to. He does it when he's trying to be cute. I'm trying to make you laugh. That's when I do it. Oh, it's funny. You get all mad at me all the time, but I'm trying to make you laugh. All right, so in a minute, as soon as we get all these pins out, I'll be able to show you. I got one here. Is that it? Should be, except for the starter pin. I'm going to quick check. And again, you guys could have, when you do it this way, come right here and then curved around the whole corner and then cut that excess corner out. It prob And then you just give it a couple little snips so that it lays nice. But on a full quilt like this, it lays nice anyway. So, all right, I'm going to go through and check before I start turning this thing, making sure every single pin is now out except for my opening pin. Gwen says people used to call her Gwenny Poo. <laughs> What's up with the poo part? Why did everyone got to add poo to our names? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right, so here's my starting point right here. Urban says my husband has messed up a few times and called me sub. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so here's my opening. Nice big opening. Scotty. Pay attention because this watching. is how this works. I'm watching. We are going to, and I'm just going to do it from right here. Let's get this whole thing up here. I'm going to go to my I'm opening. Pretty sure I know what you're going to do, but I want to see it in action. I want you guys to see. Here's my opening. I'm going to reach my arm times two in, and I'm just going to come all the way through it. I'm inside this thing now. I get up all inside these quilts. Let me tell you. All right, we come all the way to this corner and I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna flip it with my hand and pull it through right here. So there's proper side. 
I'm going to reach in and grab that corner. And I'm going to pull it through right here. So there's that. So we're going to push those through. Then I'm going to reach my hand back in and go find that other corner. So I'm just going to go all the way down to the bottom again. I'm going to go find it. We're going to just start pulling this through actually before I do that. I'm just going to push it all in here like a big pillow. Ugh. It's like turning a bag, and it's like turning a pillow. It's like turning everything. Kim says her late husband called her ma and started two weeks after dating. I don't know about that one. <laughs> no. That'd be a little weird. No. <laughs> yeah. Very weird. Although my grandpa used to call my grandma, um, Grammy, when, when the grandkids were around. Grammy, would you like me to go get that? Well, yeah. Grandpas and grandmas do that. Yes. All right. So the whole thing's in there. Mine did that. We're going to find my end by just lifting and tugging and lifting and tugging until it's visible. Where's it at? Somewhere around here. Look at that. We're finding it. Somewhere. There it is. There it is. Okay, so here's a corner. Pushing it out. Doesn't have to be perfect because, uh, like I said, this quilt is not perfect. I'm going to find this top one. We're going to push it out. that. We're going to let this thing go down. We're going to push this corner out. Let it down. And the last corner, which is this one, push it out. And I'm going to hold it upside down. This. Hold that. I gotcha. I know stretch what you're doing. it. Pull it. Stretch it. We're going to stretch and pull. It helps if you have an extra set of hands. I'm going to pull right here at this all the way around. Oh, we're going down? Okay. All the way down, pulling, pulling. Everything should be nice and stretched mm. out. There we go. So now it is flipped. It looks like a big giant pillowcase cover. Yes, it does. <coughs> like, like a duvet cover. Which Scott didn't even know what a duvet was. I thought that was kind of odd. We were at the thrift store looking and he's like, how about this? This has got two pieces of fabric. I said, that's a duvet cover. <laughs> What's a duvet? Oh, I said, it's like, remember my little stuffy, fluffy, pillowy looking type blanket that I have? It's that. <laughs> All right. He says if Tiffany gets lost, look in the quilt. <laughs> yeah. You know, I could probably... As a joke, one day I should probably get in one. That'd be kind of funny, right? I'd have to leave a little bit bigger of an opening than this. All right, so now. Anne says good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good Anne. morning. I am going to just. I'm not even going to iron this. The next step would be to iron it. Iron all the way around, pulling out all this right here, so that it is nice and flush all the way around. I'm just going to stitch it. So I'm going to go to my opening first gonna fold that under and then I'm gonna fold the shirt under like this and I am going to start by Jim says when my wife folding can't hear and me stitching. And all I have to do is say mom <laughs> interesting guess that gets her attention <laughs> all right so I'm gonna slide this under here way beyond where I um ended just so that I can be right here at the edge so in with the dream says hi hi hello welcome everybody that's coming in so now I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to line everything up and I'm just going to line it and sew. Line it up and sew. I'm, I'm literally folding in the two ends, folding them in, holding the edge. And I'm not really stitching a quarter, like a, a eighth of an inch away. I'm stitching three eighths of an inch away, but not fully a quarter. How's that sound? I know odd numbers, right? But the only way I'm going to get this to close and seal properly all the way around with this big thick batting is to do a bigger seam than an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to back stitch right here. And now. Kenny says the dad sew. certainly has a few clothes. Three big quilts. They will be over the moon. Well oh, done. Yeah. And you know the weird part is, is it didn't seem like there was that many clothes in the beginning. Yes, Brenda, this is the bonus quilt. Yep, this is the bonus. And I'm making sure that the batting goes all the way up to my fold because that way it holds and it doesn't sagging in this specific area right here. So I'm just holding it, folding it. Hi, Vicki. 
We have another Vicky. She says, good morning all here. I was busy watching stitching videos and got lost. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that means holding it and folding it, holding it and folding it, making sure that my batting will be in my stitches because I don't want it to sag. So I just fold it a little bit. I know this is all biased, so it's definitely really hard for me. I can only stick a couple stitches at a time. You keep the same foot on, even though now you're switching around? Yep, I'm just going to keep the same foot on. Okay. Everything's flipped under. Come See, on. I'm learning things as we go here, huh? I paid attention to the whole foot thing earlier in the video. All right, folding it, stitching it, folding it, stitching it. And I have some super bias going on right here, so I'm definitely going to fold in some stretch because this is horrible. By bias, you just mean excess or wrinkles? Oh, yeah. Look how much is left over. Well, you say There's bias. There's like a half I an inch. didn't know what you mean by the word bias. There's like a, a half an inch here, so I'm going to fold it slowly in now. Yes, Brenda, she'll be back tonight around 5 for So Sunday. Yeah, this is not So Sunday. This is just a, the side project getting it done. Yeah, this was going to be an uh, insomniac one last night, but I we, fell asleep. we fell asleep instead. Like, literally. I was so exhausted, I don't know why. Sometimes I get that way. Well, you've been working every day here, Tiff. You busted these quotes out in no time. All right, let's go the rest of the way now. Jonas, did you say just over a quarter inch? Yep, no, just under, a, just over an eighth of an inch. All right, so I don't know what I'm going to do right here. So this over an eighth really... of an inch, which would be under a quarter of an inch. Yes. So half I of a quarter. I'm going to fold this up to the seam. This is going to be so weird right here, but I can't do nothing about it. Jim says, stretched. Scott's going to learn so much, you're going to have to put it to use. That's <laughs> going to stretch so bad right there. All right, and now I've sealed it. So it's completely sealed right here. But I'm going to, I'm not stopping there. I'm going to stitch all the way around this whole entire thing. All the way around. So that it lays super duper nice. And I'm just folding the seam. I'm coming to the seam. And I'm folding it in my hand. Normally I would press it, but I am not going to bother with all that right now. So I'm just folding it, stitching, folding, stitching all the way continuously around the whole entire thing. Trying to make sure that the seam ends up exactly around the edge. Saran says bye. Happy Sunday, all. Bye, all Saran. Right. See ya. And again, my corners are not perfectly pointed out, and that's okay. I'm just rolling it with my fingers, and I'm just going around everything, the whole entire thing. Just said she's on vacation until next week, so she can stay awake tonight for you. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> I'm coming to the corner, and I'm just going to stitch until it's ready to go this way. And again, I'm just going to line it up. Where it ends at the edge. I'm not quite stitching an eighth of an inch, but I'm not at a quarter of an inch. I'm just going to grab this whole side. And I'm just using my fingers because unfortunately I am not ironing this. So there's just no way. What time? I take it you mean later? We should be oh, out at later five. Later at five. So, so Sunday is always at 5 p.m. My time, Mountain Standard Time. Yep. I'm also stitching at the three millimeter um, stitch as well. Also, I did not change my stitch length. I'm just going to keep it exactly the same the rest of the way, all the way around. And here in Arizona, we have our own time. <laughs> yep. Everyone else changes their clocks, but we don't. Linda asks, is this going to be quilted or more like a blanket? More like a blanket. Kind of like a comforter almost, actually, because it's fluffy like a comforter. Well, Suburban, it's almost 1130 here. So whatever time it is there, then you'll know the difference. Because at 5 o'clock here, we'll be doing it. Not really. 
I kind of was thinking of doing some 25 patch blocks for so Sunday, but then I really want to work on my pineapple. I mean, not pineapple, my Cleopatra blocks, but. Yeah, that's what you told me yesterday. You were going to do Cleopatra blocks. We'll see. It's I'm your 100th sure. so Sunday, it's right? It's my 100th so Sunday. So I could either teach something and or I can just work on something. So I'm using my fingers to open the seam inside of the quilt. And for those that are curious, because we just said it right now, this is how you would make a comforter if you want to use solid fabrics and some fluffy batting, really fluffy batting. You need fluffy batting for this. Yeah, comforters are really fluffy. But most comforters, they do like, like a big back and forth stitch. At least that's all I've ever seen on comforters. Did you guys know you can quilt a comforter? You can go buy one at the store. If you don't like it, you can quilt it. That's like now if you don't like it. if you don't if it doesn't have enough pizzazz, you can quilt it. I kind of was thinking of buying a comforter just so that I can quilt it and show you guys. That would be awesome. But it Lisa really needs says to do be whatever you flat. enjoy for your 100. Yeah. So she's getting two memory quilts and a memory comforter. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Much. There you go. What is a quilt comforter? A clumpeter? Clumpeter? I like that. That's a good term. <laughs> It works. A quillumpeter. We just made up a new word. <laughs> Quilferter. Quiltferter. A comfort comfort. A quillumpeter sounds comfort better because quilt. it's harder to say. Quillumpeter. All of you try to say quillumpeter. <laughs> Brenda says it's a new thing. Brenda also said earlier you should cut a cake. <laughs> we have some brownies, but no cake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking nice stitches around the corners here. You know the cool part Suburban about the stitching. it out for you. Columbus. Yeah. <laughs> She did it. When I stitch around this, in some of these fabrics, you can't even see the stitching at all because. They like literally bury just like on the quilts when I was quilting them. Um, everything is so buried. <laughs> Brenda says do a brownie with a candle. I guess we could do that. Can't believe I've stuck with it so long. I don't stick with things. Ask Scott. I have issues. I mean, I've stuck with things, obviously, but when it comes to my video series, every time I do stuff, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. Leave me alone. What did you stick with for so long? What do you mean? The so Sunday episodes now about a oh. hundred. You lost me. I thought you were talking about making this quilt. Oh no, I'm I talking thought. about when I start something on YouTube. And out of those hundred episodes, there's only a couple missing because I was sick with the valley fever. So other than that, there's a ton of them. There's definitely a video quality difference between then and now. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully in the future it'll just keep getting better. Hopefully. Can I? Some of these seams at the edges don't want to fold over. <laughs> They're being, they're being mean to me. They're like, please don't sew over me. I want it to lay crooked.
this is probably the part that takes the longest is because I stitch all the way around, not just the opening. <laughs> what? And I just have, Vicky says she, she has awful time remembering things nowadays. She has some timer's disease and then Jim says I have a remembrance myself. <laughs> so I just <laughs> Lisa says we'll be going to Quillumfitter shows and Quillumfitter guild meetings. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> Here's our first Quillumfitter show now. Invented right here. <laughs> Tiffany's quilting line. Like it. <laughs> Suburban says my husband has selective memory. <laughs> hi, Kathy. Kathy says hi. Hello. <laughs> Quillumfitter guild meeting, yeah, that'd be something. Yeah. A group just for people who like to make Quillumfitters. Yeah. I have to say, this is a nice fluffy Quillumfitter for sure. I just hope it doesn't like, I mean, I'm going to add some stitching, but I hope it doesn't bunch like most actual comforters do. You guys hate when you buy a comforter. You throw it through the wash for the first time because it smells like store and it has like whatever. Mm. And then all of a sudden you're missing all your corners. You got big chunks of batting up in this corner and down in that. And it never lays flat again. Oh, I hate that. Hi, hate Kathy. It. Hello. That's oh. what Sherry just asked. With the batting pump, if you don't sew down the middle a little bit. Well, I made sure the batting came all the way to the edges. I think on comforters, they don't sew the batting into the edges on actual comforters. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. I've, I've never, I've taken a couple apart, but they weren't, they were really old, you know. <laughs> Brenda says it's making her want to run and make one. <laughs> it's not hard. This is probably the easiest way to finish a quilt. And I don't have to have a nice straight stitch around the edge because I'm not sewing binding on. There's no hand stitching involved. This is just sewing by machine. <laughs> Suburban says, don't. Don't give it to her and tell her some yard and, and make a tied quilt herself. That way she had a hand in making it. Hmm. I'll just finish it. I don't think they sew. That's why they came to me. To get some yarn. Yarn for uh, tying it. Okay. I don't have any yarn. Maxine took it all or else I could tie it, but. We're not here to teach you guys how to tie a quilt. I'm here to just show you the basics. And I don't tie quilt anyway, so. I have one though. I have a tie quilt. It's actually a tie quilumfeter. And I didn't make it. <laughs> I've had it since I was a kid. Hi Joyce, Joyce says hi honey. Hello. Yeah, I've had it for so long. It's the, when we have company, it's what goes down on the air mattress. <laughs> it's the air mattress cover. <laughs> yep. And it says, I have so many five inch charms saved. It'd be perfect to make her. She's talking about making a lump fitter now. Yep, for all those just joining, we have this new thing called a quillumpeter. It is invented right here. Well, the name has been. People do this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so from now on, when I say I'm going to be stitching and flipping, instead of saying that, I'm going to make, I'm doing it quillumpeter style. I make my baby quilts this way, but I do wiggle stitches so it doesn't clump up. Well, I'm so just going to do like, clump up. I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. My thought process hasn't gotten that far. I do need to flatten it out as best as I can and then stitch something to hold it. I was just thinking some tack stitches.
We'll see. Let's see how far I want to get involved. By the time I'm done with this, this whole stitching around the edge thing. Shoot, right, you're going to shoot that. Yeah, I'm almost to the top now. The machine gun is roaring over there. Okay, so I'm coming to my beginning. Almost. <laughs> June says, I have James Bond Diamonds Are Forever on TV, and he's fighting with Thumper and Bambi. And she thought of me. Thumper's always been really fighting with me. Yeah. Speak of the devil, he didn't actually come in today. It must be nope. too early for him. He's sleeping. Well, when I took the batting high, the, the Franken piece batting out to the living room, he was all over it at first. Some of the is really attracted to that batting. Yes, he really likes this fluffy batting. It's a cat thing. Bourbon says there's nothing like finishing a project and the feeling of it's done. Yes, well, I love the it's done feeling completely. Yes, Brenda, she put that in. Brenda said I missed it. Did you put that in? Yes. Yep. You'll have to go it's back to the beginning. style. <laughs> beginning. There is batting. All right, so I'm at where I started. I'm just going to back stitch. And then we have another Brenda. Brenda Simon says hi. Hello. Tiffany and everyone. All right, so here Hi, it is Brenda. so far, without having tack stitches. Definitely a columpeter for sure. I'll show you the front and the back so you can see how columpeter style it is. So here, look at that. And when you give this to her, you're going to have to tell her your new name too. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then here's the bottom. So it's stitched all the way around. You can see if, if I don't tack this, it sags over you know, over my stitching area. So it definitely needs to be tacked upward properly. And then from the back, it looks like an actual comforter. Yep. Look at that. This just needs to be stitched down. It's nice and soft. Yes, and it's very soft. So now I just need to flatten the whole thing out nicely and- Ooh, do I get the iron? Give it some stitch. I'm not ironing. I'm just oh, gonna okay. give it some stitches. And look right here, it had to be puckered in purposely. <laughs> Oops. But Brenda says, how do we spell that for the label? Columpeter. <laughs> I don't know how to spell it. I just know how to say it because I just made it up. Is it polyester batting? Yes. It's yes, a, Vicky. It's, it's a very polyester. thick pop. Pass me that piece right there. Just the top piece. It is this stuff right here. It's very thick polyester batting. In some areas, it's even thicker, you know. But it's a very thick polyester you can't really see through it very well. I mean, you can from far away, but up close, if you put it to your eyes, you really can't. But it's very thick. I yeah, bought it because my clients that have been getting quilts really, 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 really want thick, fluffy batting. It's just the strangest thing. They don't quilt themselves, so. Where's my chair? There it is. I almost fell on my butt. There you go. Suburban spelled it out for us again. <laughs> awesome. How is it spelled? Quilumpeter. <laughs> I want to see this. I take it that would be the correct spelling if it was a, in the dictionary. Well, um, for sure. Yep, exactly. Q-U-I-L-O-M-F-O-T-E-R. Exactly. I don't know if you're going to put that on tag or not. but No, this didn't even get a tag. All right, so now I'm going to flatten it out and give it some tack stitching. Or I can stitch some wavy lines. I don't know. I'm thinking about this. Brenda says, nice. I have some of that. Got it on sale at a quilt shop. 10 yards for 10 bucks. Holy cow. That is a deal. Mm -hmm. We pay a lot for ours. <laughs> Trying to think how I can like. Auntie Ann says, so glad I tuned in. I, I have a Maybe VIP just like this from six inch flannel squares. And I'm going to stitch, flip and tie it this week. Woohoo. Well, hi, Auntie. Hello. 
I think what I'm going to do is hold this. Wait, sorry, a WIP, not a VIP. I said VIP. That means work in progress, right? Yep. See, I'm learning. I'm learning your terms. I think what I'm going to do is get it nice and flat somehow. And maybe from the back side up so I can keep it flat. Just do like a I don't know if that's even going to come out right. I think I'm just going to add tack stitches. I'm going to flatten this out. Well, you can take a minute and decide. You want to talk to some people? Here, I can give you the thing. What would you guys do? Just tack it or tie it? I'm not going to tie because I don't have tie thread thread to, uh, uh, yarn. But... Hi, Rowena. Rowena says, just joining. I've been cleaning my sewing room. So Granddaughter this... is coming, and she wants to make a dog bed. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking like a comforter with a quilt top, just go back and forth real quick and change my stitch length to a four. Now you want me to make Let's see how big my comforter. No, let me see how big my my four is real quick. I don't want it to be where it can be snipped on the bottom or grabbed on something. Oh, four millimeters looks yeah, like a just like Four, is the stitching on the comforter like like this big? Four? Yeah. That looks pretty good. Jim, Jim says, do you have an embroidery thread? Linda says, tack it. Otherwise, if you try and stitch it, you'll get wavy areas. I'm just going to do tacks. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hold it down. I'm going to start up here. And I'm going to do sideways. Do you sideways. want me to bring the comforter in here so you can look at it? Nope. You sure? Yep. I'm going to flatten this out right here, making sure everything stays flat. And I'm going to do a long tack stitch real quick right here. And then come down a little bit, do another tack stitch, and then go up, do another, and so on and so forth. Teresa sure. says, I would put it on the long arm. Suburban says, a stitch in a ditch might be faster. I'm just going to come right here. Hmm. I want to bring my bobbin thread up. June says I'd put small plus sign every now and again. Well, this would be so hard to grab that bobbin thread. Walking foot. Do you need me to help you do something? Tiffy? Ugh. Do you want, Ugh. Me, to bring, bring, want me to bring the comforter in? You can look at it. How about that? No, because the comforter is just stitched like this. It's a long stitch down. And then back up, it creates the oval, and then back up. And from this kind of machine, I'm going to struggle trying to hold it. I could load it on the long arm, though, and do a quick come down one way, and then oval it, and then roll the quilt, and then come down, and then so oval Teresa it. Said, we'll put it on I don't want to add that much effort into it. Suburban says, get her some tweezers. <laughs> Hmm. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I really want to just tack it, but I don't want it to fold as I'm tacking. And I don't want to have to snip a ton of million threads as I'm tacking as well. And I don't have any yarn. What I do have, oh, yay. You know what? I do have something. What? I have embroidery floss. What is that? I'm out the camera for a second because I'm going to find my embroidery floss. I have this stuff. Can I tie a quilt with this stuff, guys? I don't tie quilts, so I wouldn't know. I could tie them with this stuff, right? Just leave it all really thick like that and put it in a big, fat, thick needle if I could find one. Auntie Ann says yes. Suburban says yay. Okay, let's do it that way. Where is my needies? I need some needles. Jim says yes. Kim says yes. Teresa says yes. All right. Sherry says I'm yes. I'm not even sure I have a big enough needle yeah, for this. Says yes, you can. All right, let's see. This would be my first tie quilt because I don't tie quilts. I need a big needle to stuck that stuff in, huh? Ooh, here we go. Linda Griffin says definitely. Home Jim assortment says, oh, yes. needle. 
That one should fit. What is this needle even for? Teresa says Scott could help you with that. <laughs> one, what number is that? One is for canvas, carpet, leather, socks, sale, upholstery, upholstery. Jim says that's what I meant. Floss, not thread. Brenda says yes, I do it all the time. Diane says hi. Hi, Diane. Hello. Well, I'm trying to find like the best. Is that the Diane that's on the thing? Darners, embroidery huh? between. Facebook. Yeah. Dan, do you have two Facebooks? You sent me a Facebook, Dan. I'm not a big Facebook guy. I'm trying to think of how I can even stick it. But I think you're already on my Facebook. See, do you have like two different Facebooks or something? I don't know. I'm confused. Auntie Ann said the needle doesn't have to be as big as you think. Sharps. How do you know which one is for what? Ooh, here we go. What are these ones? Teresa says, do you have black? This one, right? No. Or brown. I don't know what I have. I have a ton of junk. This is what I have. <laughs> the most... says, yep, Scott can help. Donna Jordan's husband helps her tie quilts. I have a blue. I have purple. I have another blue, which looks almost the same as that blue, but it's wrapped differently. Well, they said brown or black is what they were saying. Hey, there's a brown. needle even hooked to this. This might be easy. Can I just use the needle that's already hooked on that? Because it looks like it's big enough for that kind of thread. It's all kind of brown. You guys are going to witness something for the first time here. When I was younger, about... Linda says cross-stitch needles have a blunt point. Make sure you use needles with a point. When I was about 18... I was 18. It was after yeah, I had Lexa. Says, make sure it has a big eye, Tiff. After I had Lexa, I got this like cross stitching thing. I'm pretty sure that's what it was cross stitching. It wasn't embroidery, it was cross stitching. Oh, there's my thing all over. Um, and I made it. It was this little like mini mouse thing. <laughs> and I used this stuff and all the colors and made it and I've kept it all this time. <laughs> Brenda says she uses an embroidery needle. Teresa says how about doing a variety of colors? Okay, well that feels pokey to me. The Suburban says that'll work, mix it up. You only need a few strands, not the whole thing. Vicky says I love Donna and Matt Jordan. It's hard to have a massive business like they started. All right, we're gonna use this needle. And we're just going to make sure it has a big eye. Remember, Vicky said that one. Make sure it has a big eye. This has a big eye. It does. It looks teeny. Uh, it looks teeny. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Me neither. I'm just going to tie. You guys are going to help me with this one. Stay. Stay. Hmm. Let's see if I can get it through here. Oh my goodness, how about a needle threader? Will that help me? Yeah. Probably should use a longer needle too, but I don't have a longer needle. Come on, grab the whole thing, slide it through. Come on, all of you, whole thing. It wants to take just little pieces through. <laughs> Suburban says that's all you have to do. Yay. Probably need a different needle threader for something like this. but Maybe a bigger one. Mm -hmm. You don't have any bigger needles? Uh, it just wants to grab a couple pieces at a time. I don't like that one. Did you lick the tip of it? I don't need to lick Twist the it. tip of it. How about a bigger needle? That's too big. I'm going to go with that one that I already did. Like this one. Oh, man, yeah, there's a zillion different strands here. Hmm, you lick it and you twirl it. This one looks better. Honestly, yes, it does. Give me that. You look at it and you twirl. There you go. It doesn't work like it's supposed to, guys. Let me tell you. June says, do you have a darning needle? 
I don't even know which one of these needles is what, but look at it's threaded. Woohoo! <laughs> Sherry says if you need a refresher, Donna Jordan has a tutorial on. Yeah, time. I know, I know. I'm just going to do what I do though, which is learn as I go. Auntie Anne says the ties are spaced about the width of your hand to keep it from shifting and too much weight on any one stitch. Okay. I keep the stitches from ripping the fabric. I think it's supposed to be, it keeps the stitches from ripping the fabric. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Suburban says you only need a few strands, not the whole bunch. I'm just using... And Anne says I use all the strands. I'm going to use the so whole strand. And I'm going to shove this down and then back up. And I'm going to try to keep the needle on the whole entire time. So we're just going to put one right here. And come down. Why can't I push through? Screw it on a seam. I'm not putting it in seams. Let's try... Right there. Down. Back through like that. All right, I'm doing something for the first time here, my friends. So that's Learning right all through. together here. <laughs> We're going to come down like this. And I'm going to leave enough to tie it, right? That's all I do, right? But I have to keep threading the needle every time? This sucks. How can I not have to thread it the whole entire time? I'm just going to tie my first tie. How about Use that? Use pliers to pull it through and a thimble to cover your finger, says Auntie Anne. Well, this worked just fine. But now I have to just like... Now after you tie it, do you cut the ends? Yeah, I'll cut them in a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to continually stick this through here, which seems kind of counterproductive. I wish there was a different way, but I guess not. Do you want to make those? No. Nope. Since I did mention pliers. Nope. Nope. Just want to get in the hole. All right, next one, we'll do it about right here. Everything's nice and flat. You guys are witnessing. Tiffany, do this for the How first time. How many do you time. need? I mean, if you do it there, you're only going to like a foot apart. It's going to be a zillion. No, I don't know. June says go through it twice, Tiff. Twice? Why twice? I don't know. So I just went around once on that last one. Seemed pretty good. Brenda says, I'm thinking stitch, skip stitch, cut between, then tie. So you mean just run it through like this and then cut them and then run them and cut them? I don't get it. And I don't like two. I'm just going to do one. I think that'll be fine. I just don't like having to re-thread it every time. I think just putting it out on the long arm would have been quicker and easier. <laughs> <laughs> Like this. This is why I don't do this stuff. Yeah. I kind of don't even want to continue. And this is yes, that's what you need. You don't need to thread it every time. Using a long piece and take it almost through, then tie it. I don't get it. Take it almost through. We need to see one of you guys do it. We're not good at someone else at reading this. We learn by watching both of us. I'm a definite visual learner. You want to just take it out on the long arm? <laughs> I'm really liking the going on the long arm thing instead. <laughs> That's what Teresa originally said, and I'm liking her idea way more. Because because it'll tighten it all out. No offense to those of you that do this, but I don't like the look of it so far. Well, yeah, because then these little hangy things, I trim them down, and then they'll just like hang there. I've seen nice tight quilts, and I know a lot of you guys like tight quilts and everything. I'm not making fun of them at all, but I think the long arm would look nicer in my you guys want to go out to the long arm with me? How do I get this Auntie out? Auntie Ann says it's easier on the floor. Suburban said leave the needle threaded. Just cut off enough to tie. No, I'm not even going to do this. I'm going to snip this one out. And Sherry says you don't have to unthread the needle every time. Just cut a long piece of thread. I'm just going to go long arm this thing. I think that will be easier for me. Yeah, I think we can just take them all out there. <laughs> I'm just going to pin my 
nicely stitched side to the long arm and I'm just gonna go vroom, 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 be done. Cause this is just gonna take me forever and I don't wanna take forever. I wanna call the lady today and say, hey, it's ready. <laughs> Nikki says, so when am I gonna learn to sew? I got a good teacher there. Yes, I know, she's a good teacher. Well, at least you guys know how to do the quilumpeter part. Now we're just gonna take you guys out to the long arm. I'm gonna load this real quick and we're gonna throw some stitches through it. <laughs> Sherry says that's a better idea. So let's go to the long arm. Scott, take this outside and I'll take I'll carry that. Yeah, I'll take carry that with this. You. I'll carry that. Let's go for a ride through my house to the long arm. And we're just gonna do that because I wanna make this as easy. You know, that's the the whole point of having a long arm is to make things easier, right? All right, guys, let's go talk. You get to my see knee. my house. I'm my knee. There's my kitchen. I need something on my feet. Let's go through the kitchen. He's not even worrying. <laughs> and that was the distance to the long arm. So now we're outside. <laughs> Mary says, hi everyone, plan B. Yeah, yes. Mary, all right, we're going to put you guys right here because I can't move this around too much. Actually. Auntie Anne says, good for you for trying something new. Okay, well, I don't like that something new, so we're just going to do this way. I'm just going to leave you guys right here. Nikki says, I had a grandmother-in-law that made a crazy quilt in the manor, and she used yarn to tie with. All right, here we go. Give me the quilt. A little on the chilly side out here. Yeah, today. do you want to go get a jacket and a beanie? You want me to get them for you? Just my blue jacket, please. Okay. <laughs> Diane says, never thought you would take the easy way out. <laughs> I'm taking the easy way out, and I'm going to load it sideways as well, because that way I can um, do a long stitch down the whole entire thing. I'm not even going to center anything or anything like that. I'm literally just going to pin this onto the leader at the edge as best as possible. When Scott gets back out here, he can show you guys what I'm doing here. I'm just going to pin it to the edge. I'm going to take the weight out because this is how I do it in the freezing cold. You have your camera? Where's your camera? Over there. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Get in the camera, so I'll get over here. Well, you can come hold the camera so they can see what I'm doing here. Oh, okay. Okay, that I can do. I'll move slow. I'm trying not to break anything. Yeah, because that's not really on that stand very well. Check it out. Just lining it up. I am not putting a ton of pins in here. I'm just going to. Jim says on. he tied his daughter's quilt because he used fleece on the backing. <laughs> Sherry says, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> yeah, I should have just came out here in the first place and did this. Instead well, they of... mentioned it, but we had to try new things. Yeah, well, I don't like tie quilting. Props to all those that are going to sit and do that with quilts, but I'm just not. I'm not that person. I don't have those patience. I don't have the patience. Come on. Just lining it up on my leader and pinning it on just along the edge as best as possible because I'm not really quilting up to the edge. So not gonna be perfect. It's just gonna be nice and flat. That's all I want is flat. What is it when the phone vibrates? That means somebody's sending me a message or oh, okay. an email came through or... Okay, because your phone, it only vibrated once. It wasn't like a phone call or it kept going. Oh, it's nippy out in this here garage. Oh, yes. Look at this. Easy way out. I mean, it takes a few minutes, obviously, to pin, but I'm not even doing a perfect job here. <laughs> but we're making a columpeter, and we're going to just do it the easy way. Because. One of these days, I'll actually sit and watch Don and Jordan's tie video again, because I've already watched it before. I'll watch it at another time and see. I think she used yarn in that video, honestly. Diane says, LOL, I'm all for the smarter. 
You know, if, if I got the machine, why not use it, right? Even though I said I was only going to quilt two quilts, but this ain't getting much quilting. And also, Scott, uh, sure. when you get a chance, you can just set the camera down where it was for a second and get that bucket, the top um, thing, so I can get a thread out. Okay. Because I don't have any thread out. You want me to put it back over there on yeah. the workbench? The supposed workbench. It's not really a workbench. But... We're going to set you guys down for just a second so that he can get Stop a fucking. thread out for me. What color? What color? What My color? cool gray. Should be right there somewhere. Steel blue. One that's upside down. Yep. Cool gray. So using cool gray thread, same as the other quilts. Because I don't have a brown for this. Do you want me to help you? I just, need, I just need um, something for this to lay on. Momentarily. All right. So I think that I'm going to go right there. All right, give me my pins. Over there, way over there. Oh, stay. Where are they? Right here. Oh. <laughs> I ran away. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. There. Perfect. Right there. Depending on this side. Yeah, now it's shut. <laughs> now you can hold the camera again if you want. So I can see my pinning better. I'm literally not even pinning it like you're supposed to. Just lining up this edge, it's going to fold under, which is what happens. Nita says that's a huge quilt for an after slash leftover quilt. <laughs> yes, it is. It is, definitely. You want me to come over there again? You can show them what I'm doing here. Okay. This is totally not being pinned the way it's supposed to be properly pinned. But it's working just fine, so that's all that matters. Well, you got 62 people watching. That's pretty good. It's not even so Sunday yet. I know, right? That's way high. Shoot, last night you only had, what, 20, 30 on. I'm making sure that this uh, part of my columpeter is flat on the back side as I line it up here, the pin, just so that I don't have no puckers that are going to be, like, last minute. Yeah, yesterday we did the Franken piecing. Yeah, there was only, like, 20-some people watching there. That was a cool one though. I liked the Franken piecing. Yeah, and that Franken piecing batting is inside this quilt. That was what I did that for. It's alive. I'm literally putting my pins like four inches or five inches apart because it really doesn't matter on this project as long as my back is flat. Teresa says, did you Ever get the pool clamps like I have, you could just float it? No, I didn't, Teresa. That's why I'm doing this whole pinning thing, because I didn't get them. That's okay, though. I will go to Ace and look when I get a chance, or Home Depot. I have to measure my bar, because I didn't measure my bar yet. I think they're an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter, something like that. All right. You mean those big giant clamps that go around the whole thing? Yeah, that I showed you that I want to get. Yeah. That way I can just clamp it on instead of doing this when I do stuff like this. Come on. All right, this is what we're going to do. Move that over there. Let that go. Pull this back off. 
I'm holding the camera here so we can't go too fast, honey. We're gonna make him dizzy. Well, that can happen. Yep, don't do that. Do you want me to put this thing down so I can actually help you? Nope. Don't do that, what I just did. I should warn you guys that these clamps aren't hooked down for anything. This long arm. Hey, there you go. Tie the thread on here. Tie the thread on here. Make a knot. Turn it on. <laughs> Lisa says, Was that squeak? He's somewhere out here, isn't he? Yeah, he's somewhere out here. All right. I'm going to pull this nice and tight. My first stitching is going to come. Oh, I think she meant because this thing's squeaking. Oh, yeah. When no, you're rolling. My, um, when you're rolling the. Scott, we hold this end like this. Where do you want me to put the camera? Just put it down right there. Okay, because I have the camera. I'll so do. I have, have to hold the ends here to make sure that this stays nice. Mm -hmm. The whole time. So Scott has to help squat down. No, no, no. Squat down on that end and pull this. We're going to keep that backing nice and flat as I roll this on. Okay. Come down further. There we go. Nice and tight. Pull it tighter. There we go. Do you want to be able to turn anything? I can pull it tight enough so you can't turn. No, don't pull down. Pull out. You're, you're crinkling it. I'm pulling out, like you say. First you said pull down, and I pull down. Whatever. Pull out, so I pull Whatever. Out. Whatever. Let's just flatten it out. There we go. Run this along here. You've got it. It looks good. Come on. 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 Okay. Here, do we, are we going to use these things? Yep, in two seconds. So many seams and this is so loose. There we go. Come on, over to the flat side. There we go. We're going to side clamp this. Just at the edge, because I'm not stitching all the way to the edge. I'm not sure how far you want to go. Right there. Just right on the edge? Mm -hmm. oh. So do you want me to make these tighter? Because this is super loose. Yes. I could have done that. You pull from the top, I think. All right, here we go. It may look very weird right now, but I'm just going to... Scott can take the camera again. I'm going to put this on... Do you want to put the camera over 10, here? Where are we putting the 12, camera? 14. No. We're going to put this at eight stitches an inch. Eight stitches per inch should be good for this. Make sure it looks flat, looks flat. Well, where do you want me to hold the camera? Just, you can follow me with it. Let me follow you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, me moving again. Don't like moving it. Makes it all blurry. All right, here we go. I'm just going to start right here. I'm going to stitch down, make a loop, and come back up into a loop. I'm just going to do a big, huge loop. And a loop-de-loop. -loop. It's not going to be super straight because I don't have channel locks. What do you mean? We got channel locks? Not on this. Oh. It doesn't stop it from going oh. side to side. I thought you meant the tools. I was going to say, I got a pair of channel locks. No. 
There we go. Every man should have some channel locks. <laughs> oh, and the thread broke already. Does not like me. Doesn't like me today. Says, I don't want to quilt this. Oh, that wasn't a torn piece. Whoops, sorry. Oh, no, it was. Okay. Sorry for the movement of the camera today, but you guys are getting this up close and personal. Okay, I know. Stop it right there. Snip that thread. All right, here we go. does not like this fabric. It's ruining, ruining, ruining it. It's ruining it. Yeah, I shouldn't have done this either. Okay, what was the other plan? The tack stitching you were saying on the brother or the juke machine? No interfacing. I don't like this. It's I don't either. What was your other idea you were saying in there? This, stitching it. Was that on the I Juki can machine? Stitch it right here, actually. Give me my snip. Here, should I sit this down again so I can grab okay. and move something? So there's no interfacing, so this does not work. It's good this was the free quilt. <laughs> Give me a stitch ripper. Yeah, there, I can. All right, so you cannot quilt stretchy fabric without, um, good thing I did such big stitches because they come out so easily. Not stitch stretch fabric without interfacing on a long arm. If this was just a plain comforter, it would work, but it's not, so that's not going to work. It is literally tearing the fabric. Well, they're learning. Yep, you guys. So this learning. is all about learning. I've never loaded non. Um, I've never loaded stretch fabric with um, out anything. I have to pick from underneath. You want me to get under there? To the top, right there. Okay. Um, I got to from the bottom. Do you want me to pull this out, your clamps, or? Oh, just leave them right there. I'm going to come back anyway so I can do some tack stitches. Okay. Throughout the whole thing. So, yep, cannot do this. Do you have another one of those out there? I can help. Nope, I do not. Oh, okay. I have them in the house. Do you want me to go get it then? No, it's fine. You can even use the scissors. It's such a. Uh, never mind. Don't do it. Just. I don't want to ruin it. I just wanted to help. I need a flat surface to pick from. You can just read comments. I don't think there is many. I don't know. So this video has turned into me making a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, Auntie Anne says, "Oh dang, sorry, that's happening." That's okay. I kind of figured it was going to not completely strip. I figured it would sew over it, but I don't have a spoon foot, so it's definitely going to grab. Lizette says you can leave it on the frame while you go back and hand tie the quilt. I could, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do um, tack stitching, which is okay. It doesn't bother me. It'll get done pretty quick. Just got to unstitch all this because it looks absolutely horrible, guys. So bad. It was like dragging the top fabric. 
really, really bad. So my easy way out turned into a disaster, but that's okay. Earlier, Suburban said her aunt had a hand quiver and even had a quilt that hung in the governor's mansion. When she died, they covered her casket in a quilt instead of a flower spray. That's awesome. Yeah, that's what they were talking about. They were saying, well, that's cool and stuff like that. I just go like every two stitches when I unpick, it gets it done faster. As that says, I was watching on my TV while unpicking what I worked on this morning. <laughs> well, we get to unpick together. Shouldn't take too much longer. You're almost thing done. I changed the stitch length because it made it easier to pull all these stitches out. In some areas, because it was going over that stretch fabric, it like put like 10 stitches instead of one, you know? Because it was stretching on the fabric, so it's really tight in a couple of these. But they're coming out, so. Are you going to tax stitch on the long arm? Is yeah. That asked? I'm just going to do the tax from here. Because I'm already loaded, so I might as well. Loaded and hunting for bar. I'm going to do it. Uh, you'll, you guys will see. I'm just going to do a circle tax stitch all around, all sorts of them. Starting and stopping, which is no big deal. Should hold, hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know. Not much left to pick. When did I become this person? <laughs> Do well, you guys have any questions while we're out here fixing? No one's saying anything. Any questions, comments? <laughs> Questioning what was Tiffy thinking today? She just left well enough alone. Are y'all ready for Christmas? Now's the time for comments while she's not talking, teaching. Yeah, I have nothing to teach. <laughs> All right. But I have decided what I'm going to do. Jim says he's going to go put pizza on for lunch. <laughs> oh, sounds yum. Yes, it does. Uh, Mary foot on a jukey with the larger stitch line. All right, now I gotta pull that top stitch. There we go. Okay. Can I use what? The walking foot on the jukey with a larger stitch line. I could, yes. But I'm already here, so I might as well continue what I was doing. Does that ask, can you work the long arm from both sides? Yes, yes I you can. can. That is one thing I can do. It's rare to see her on the back side, but she has done it. All right, so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna find just single areas. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. June says I'm wrapping presents as I watch. <laughs> I'm just gonna find single areas. I'm gonna tie my stitch off. And okay. Scott can actually I'll bring, the, bring camera. the camera around to see this now. I'll bring the camera I over. I have come to a decision. My tack stitch is going to be this. Bye, Lisa. Lisa has to go. She says, Merry A Christmas. Circle. Hang in there, Tiffany. Hope to see you later. This there evening. is my circle tack stitch right there. And then I'm just going to go around and add tons of circles. And then I'll pick all the threads in a minute. So I'm going to find another area that, that I can even get through and around to. And add circles. Brenda's working on her last doll. She has two more dragons to make. I'm just going to tack this right here down. This is like a really horrible quilt. Let me tell you guys. And there's my circle. <laughs> then I will tack it off. Because I can't really go around this very well. And I'll find another spot. And add it another circle. I'm just literally randomly putting circles in blocks. Before you get too far, is there any sort of design we can do on this since that's already no. mishappened? It's not going to go away, but that's fine. That's what I was saying. Is there anything we can do on it? Nope. Over it? Nope. Okay. So all I'm doing is tacking circles because I kind of have no other option. 
hopefully it will look half decent. It'll come about right here. Is this about the one? Yeah, right here. Okay. Tying it off. Make a circle. And I've seen circles on comforters before. So. Is that's working on turning flimsies into finished tops for quilting? It's hard to really definitely need to invest in another foot for this machine. Come right here now and make a circle right here. Some of my circles are bigger than the others. <laughs> I'll never do those perfectly. So then I'll go through, I'm not even gonna attempt that. I'll go through and trim all those off in a minute. So let's take these off. Hold on. Advance it just a little. Wait, I have the camera, I can't run. Give me two seconds to work. I'm gonna add some more circles. So I'm already down here. So I'm Am I putting the uh, clamps back on? Yep. Might as well start down here. Because I'm already down here, right here in this block. Sure, why not? This is gonna be so funky. Remind me never to do that again. Can't even like go far with the long run because it keeps getting stuck. Oh, Becca got her quilt today. She says, OMG, it's gorgeous. OMG. She says your quilting is amazing. Okay, well this quilt is absolutely horrible. This one is Tiff is having a rough moment at the time uh, right here, Becca, so she's not too happy, but <laughs> I'm not happy at all. But I'm making it work. Because that's all I can do for this piece of I'm not even gonna say the word. Mm -hmm. My quilt quilter. Is that what I called it? <laughs> Our new word, did we forget it already? Our quilt quilt from Tur? Quilt for Tur. What what is it again, Suburban? I know you know. You're the one that was spelling it for us. Quilt for Tur. I have no idea. Oh, I need one about right here, maybe. Let's just put one right here. Screw it. I'm just randomly like putting them there. There's no method to it I'm just randomly putting circles because I keep getting stuck on seams and all sorts of stuff what a hassle such a hassle I'm making it work so that's what I do Okay, now to advance it already again. Leave that string there, take the ends off. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, I'm putting them back on now. I'm never going to do this again. For those of you who are curious, this is a one-time deal for this disaster here. Pieces on the clamp are... One-time disaster. Nothing likes to work here at the moment. Well, everyone needs to see mistakes. That way they know what to do when they have mistakes. Never, ever doing this again. 
Mistakes are part of life. Everyone has them. Becca wants to know what your disaster is. What's my going on? My disaster is my quilter. That's what I said. Quilter, quilter, quilter. Oh, it, Michelle I, says hi, Bestie and Scott, and my quilting friend. I loaded it on the long arm. Quilumpeter. Quilumpeter. I'm trying to find it up here where it's spelled, but I can't. My quilumpeter is being. And I didn't want to tie it because it was not me. I just don't want to tie it. So instead yep. I'm quilting circles all the way around the whole entire thing, just random circles here, there, and everywhere. So that this disaster can at least be tacked down. So I'm just putting circles in it to hold the stitching, or hold the layers together. Mm, Try and see the little circles. Look cute. My little circles. They're not even little. They're actually kind of on the big side. She tried to do the tie quilt, and I don't like we didn't that. like that. She didn't like that, so we said just throw it on the long arm. That was Teresa's idea, and we liked that, but that didn't go too well from our first shot. So we had to unpick some threads, which she did. I held the camera and right. looked Take pretty. Off. Let's go a little bit more. Yeah, I'm never doing this again. Ever, ever, ever. ever. So now she's putting tack stitching in and in, in the little circles, right? Yep. Yep. Little tack circles here, there, and everywhere. It should be fine after this. I'm never doing it again, that's for sure. They're not even equal or even. They're just circles. Well, this is the free quilt of the leftovers. The lady will love it. And the fact that you made it just means that she will love it. Because, I mean, she's not expecting any of this. Nope. So don't be upset. You're doing a good job. I'm sure she's not even expecting to have this much leftovers to make a whole nother quilt. And I didn't expect to have to do this in the garage either. So you guys are getting like garage quality video streaming here. Yeah, a lot of camera moving. I'm sorry. We can't control. See, that's why I can't stitch over it. You guys see this? It does not stitch past, beyond, through any of this. The Quillumpeter. Put a circle. Of Ooh, on the tire there. rim. I like that. That's a good idea. You're gonna circle the rim. Hi, Patty. Patty says good afternoon. Becca got the big giant iron too, right? Isn't it, yeah, Becca? The, not the big huge one. She got the oh, medium size. Oh, got the big old iron. Um, I don't remember. Is that the big huge Oh, I was going to ask them how they liked it. All right, up here, please. Okay. I'm almost done. Almost. Then we can take it in the house and show you guys the whole thing. My super retarded project here. <laughs> oh, stop.
<laughs> I'm never doing this again. Everybody Sorry. makes mistakes and stuff in life, whether they're an artist, a quilter, a handyman, a woodworker, a mechanic. Here. Believe me, I worked on plenty of vehicles and made mistakes. Whether you're in weightlifting, I screwed up plenty of times there too. Doing gym stuff. It definitely does not like not having interfacing for doing anything long arm related. <laughs> Rowena says it's too cold there. She has five quilt tops she wants to quilt. She's thinking about taking a trip to Arizona because it's warmer here to do them. <laughs> Come on out, Rowena. You guys can make a video together. It's cold here for us, but for you guys, it's probably not cold at all. <laughs> yeah, well, right now it's 50. Oh my gosh. My gosh. It is 49 in here. Hi. No wonder I'm cold. Uh -huh. I didn't put a jacket on. I'm all cold too. <laughs> I just put my beanie on. This is going to be so weird. I don't care. Stop. It'll be good. Would you stop doubting yourself? I always doubt myself. I know. It'll be good. With everything you quilt, you have all your little nitpicks and issues. I know you're a perfectionist at your stuff. That's fine, but it'll be good. Don't worry. She will love it. I'm sure her sister will love it. Oh, Brenda's working on a Bonnie Hunter mystery quilt, part three of four. Now they're talking about how cold it is at their places. <laughs> Jim, last time you were saying it was a lot colder, so it warmed up there. <laughs> All right. You taking them off again? Okay. Yep, I'm, I'm almost done. Almost. We're getting to the end. <whistles> we're getting this quilumphator finished. A new invented term that was spelled out for us by Suburban and a few others of you guys. <laughs> This thing is going to sag. Sag. Oh, Duana says hi, everyone. She's just peeking in from work. She has lunch in eight minutes, and she says it looks good, Tiffany. Nah. <laughs> nah. Tiffany is not happy with it. I am not happy. This is one of those things I should have never even done, but I did it, and now I got it. Kim it. says stop worrying, Tiff. It will be loved. Yeah. Yes. See? That's what matters. At least my circles are circular. Oh, <laughs> the schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Yeah. My circles are circles. This may be one of your less than professional projects, but at least your fans will see. Like what I did when I was a beginner. Okay, the but the whole thing is teaching. This is to teach people. So at least they will see and they will learn. Learn that you cannot long arm quilt non uh, interface fabrics as well as you shouldn't load quilt <laughs> to the long arm for the people that don't you. do tie quilting like you they are learning that maybe we should have just stuck that one out in the room <laughs> yeah i should have just finished what i was doing in there right. michelle says better done than perfect <laughs> right. this is just oh. horrid uh, you know when you're like you feel accomplished and then all of a sudden you're like oh no i'm not accomplished anymore oh my god that circle is not even a circle does it hit that on the end? It's fine. Stop. Bloopers. Ah! Oh, let's see. I need to add one about right here somewhere because it's like lacking.
Nancy says you crack me up, Tiff. <laughs> well, I'm definitely here for a laugh today. This professional here has gone and pretended I was a fifth grader. No, fourth, third grader. This is about third grader work here. Stop. I'm getting an F. An F for fantastically stupid. <laughs> Hold on. Are we moving it? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, look at what happened here. It's getting stuck. I got a lump. I got lumps. I got lumps and bumps. Oh man, that's so horrible. It all floated to the end. Let's just add a couple more wrinkly ones. Oh, it's so horrible. That's not going to work. Leave it right there. No. Come on. Play around here. It's getting stuck. You guys see how bad this is? Yes. Never again. Is. Never, never, never. Are we not putting the... No. Okay. I have to just shoo it all out of the way. This is going to be the worst thing ever. My auntie says once it's washed, especially with the batting, you won't hardly see any quilting oopsies. Yeah, wow. Well. says done is good, and we are learning from your experience. This is a great bonus project. Yeah, this is a definitely do not do what Tippy did project at all. Bye, Duana. Duana's got to go. Okay. We'll see ya. Auntie we'll says you're doing good. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'll be on later anyway. Yep, we'll be doing so Sunday later today. Okay, this, I can't control this. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Just put one on each side. Just... Right there. One right there. Just run. Run what you brung. Yeah, this is... I'm torturing myself with horribleness. Let's do a small one. Like I said, once it's washed, it'll move itself around and it'll do its thing. One, oh my goodness, it really stuck to that. One more right down here. It'll do its thing, it'll be fine. She will love it, I'm sure her sister will love it. is now complete. This is never happening again. Don't do this at home. If you have a long arm, do something different. Put leaders on it or something, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you should have just stuck with tying it. Yeah, I should have stuck with tying it. I should have just kept on going. I should have put my big girl panties on. After you have tied a few, it probably would have been good. Right, I'm never doing this. Okay, are we pulling these needles out? Yes. And I will trim all the thread in the house. This is going to be so messed up. You don't have to do that. I'll well, do it. I want to help. The most messed up ever. I really don't want to just hold the camera. I want to help. See, Nancy also says once it's washed, you won't even notice any perfections, and she'll love it. See? Never, ever, 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 ever doing this again. Mm. Now you know what it's like behind the scenes when I do things and I mess up or get pissed off or frustrated at myself. Oh, calm down. You're doing good. I end up... You're pretty much I'm done. really horrible with talking down on myself. I do that so often. I know. And you need to stop. You need to stop. All You're right. doing good. Long arm is Your off. fans are all supporting you. Everyone's here. Let's go inside and look how horrible this is. Did you want me to just walk the camera? Yep. Okay. Okay, can you turn the light off? Please, mm -hmm. please, please. We're going back to the room and we're going to look how horrible this is. You get to see our floors. And all our toys. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm like dreading oh, looking at this thing. Suburban says we are our own worst critics. <laughs> no, I this is horrible. You guys, I'm serious. Stop. If you got something like this as a gift, you're gonna be like Brenda says she appreciates how supportive I am for you. See, it's gonna be okay. The back Brenda says fine. I still think it's a good idea. 
Okay, I'm going to snip all the excess thread and then I'll hold it up. I think you found a live hornet in our laundry room. <laughs> a hornet? See, it stretched so bad. Look at this. It's fine. It is not fine. That is just... When it's washed and everything, it'll be no, fine. No, that's just bad. That's horrible. I am not happy. So not happy. Where did all the stitches go? Yeah. Would you calm? Calm down. Take it easy. It's okay. Mm. Right, here's some. You got a lot more to cut. Keep them scissors out. We'll do this together. I will help you. Okay. One has to be picked out here. Oh, no, nope, that was out. It just needed to be pulled. Okay. So, I'll tell you this once, I'll tell you it twice. Don't do this again. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Well, now you know. Next time, you might actually have to try tying one. I was with you on the long arm, too, so it's not all your fault. I was trying to take the easy way around. Yeah. We all... We all learn. Is that it? Is that it? That's it. All right, let's hold this thing. Mary out. says you have room for her car and a long arm. Yes, we have a two car garage. It's a two car deep. boat deep garage. So it has like a dent so that a boat for can the go town in it. We live in, it's actually one of these smaller garages because yeah. in this town, most people have ginormous RV garages since this is a snowbird slash vacation right. slash whatever town. I am going to turn the camera facing this way. We're just going to hold this crap up. And yes, Stop. I just said crap. Stop. Okay, you're going to see how. Watch out, Scotty. You're going to be in the camera. No, oh, sorry. I'm still reading. I'm pulled it, turning it this way. Where? Facing this way. So I should go over there? No, because we're going to hold it. Uh, okay, well, I'm still area. reading. Auntie okay. Ann says, see, you can't even see the stitches Here. with the lofty batting. It's beautiful. Here. Brenda says, toss it in the wash. Okay, That's what I here. think. I think if we wash it, it'll be fine. Hold on a second. So I'm going to turn you guys facing this way. There we go. This is my quilter. Quilter. My quilter. So there's the front. And you can see I have a lot of bunching going on right here on this side. It's so horrible. It's so weird because that this bunched because it's so stretchy. But on the back side, it looks like the what you would find on an actual comforter, all those circles. Yeah. Holding it down. Yes, we got some more weight at the Oh, I didn't know it was cut. I thought it had to be yeah. cut. Whatever. It's done. That's all I gotta say. Well, Kathy's saying it's beautiful. It's definitely. Well, Brenda said toss it in the wash. It's definitely just a throw. Michelle says, wow, that's awesome. Vicky okay, says well, it's very you know pretty. This is one thing it's good for, no matter what it looks like. Yep, see? <laughs> there you go. Joyce says it's pretty. My quilumpeter slash keep me warm. But it's not for me, so they can just do this too. And look at that. Kim it's says sideways. It's, washed, it'll be fine. it's sideways, and this thing could wrap around me a bazillion times, and it's you can't even see my feet. It's literally dragging on the floor. So it is taller that's than five way, foot yes. two. Yes, that's the or width. The width is bigger than five foot two. Suburban says it's awesome. Brenda says I'd love it. They will appreciate it. Nancy says the bunching will even out once it's washed. Yeah, because all the say, stretch fabric will and you'll shrink see it back looks up. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Anne says I would appreciate getting it. See? Yeah. Okay. Calm yourself down. It will all work out. Look at this thing. It's, it's so it's fluffy. It's not over to the fat lady sings. Okay. All right, we're going to turn you guys back this way. We'll all work out. Towards me. I'm going to sit my butt down for a minute. <sighs> mm -hmm. Auntie Ann says it up. will be used and loved. Jim says it's awesome. I need to clean up my Yeah, floss. clean up your mess while you talk to people. Calm down. So I have all this floss that I need to do something with someday. It's just left over from the little Minnie Mouse thing I did a long time ago. 
Do we rewrap that? I'm not rewrapping any of it. Oh, you mean this one? Yeah. You know, if I did other projects, at least I have the stuff here if I ever did want to do it, right? <laughs> June says it's fine, Tiff, when under four bums on the sofa, it'll even be more perfect. Yep. Okay, I was going to do that for you, but fine. You got that. All right. Come on. What other things can you do with this thread stuff? Besides tie quilts and cross stitch and embroider. Is there other uses for this stuff? I think I tried making my wind chimes. Remember when I was making wind chimes out of this originally, but it I have no flow idea. nicely. Where'd the needle go before you get stabbed? Make sure that gets put away. All right. You don't want to stab yourself. No, I do not. Yet again, because you stab yourself a lot. Okay. Needle, go back in this number two spot. I don't think she's decided yet, and she's changed her mind a few times, and that's what you're going to work on later today. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's a it's a jump between the twenty five teaching you guys to do two twenty five patch blocks since I haven't done one in a while, and or work on my Cleopatra blocks, and or that's it's her, the two it's things. Her one hundred so Sunday. Though. Or I can uh, work on see. my snail trail blocks. I don't know. It's my one hundred so Sunday. Um, they're just letting you know now. Sneak talk because you're all here. There will be a giveaway. It's yeah, not a you. big giveaway. It's a a little giveaway. But there'll be some things given away. Yeah, we gave it's away my... our big giveaway was our Christmas stuff that was already sent out. Yeah. This one is just giving away some little things that are easy to ship and um, it'll just be a, a giveaway to celebrate that I have made a hundred So Sunday episodes. And then... Um, Nita says she uses that thread for tamari balls. I have no Whatever idea that, what is. that is. I don't know what that is, Nita. Vicky says congrats to... So at five like normal so that I can do so Sunday and a giveaway and I don't know what I'm gonna work on I I could work on anything I have so many things I could do that are started and like I have a pile of started stuff here over there back here can you see that Mary says I love it <laughs> <laughs> all right so Anyways, I'm going to get off of here because I've wasted my own time. I consider it wasting time. You guys are probably whatever about it, but I tried something it's different. It's good. Calm down. Obviously, I stitch and flip all the time, but I usually quilt it. But this is saying something congratulations. Janice and Michelle both said congratulations. Got some threads sticking out. That'll be fine. All right. Anyway, so... I will see you guys later. If you are new to my channel, it's not normally not this chaotic. I know what I'm doing on a normal basis. <laughs> Becca says, <sighs> says she feels clean. She just stepped out of the shower and moved down to my sewing room. Tips motivated me to do something. I have to quilt. Get it I need done. to quilt before Friday. Think I can do it. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. You all can do it. You Look, can all She do changed it. her little thingy too. I liked your old thingy, Becca. You were laughing oh. in it. Her, her so Becca symbol. Yeah, that's All a right, cool guys. symbol, but I liked your laughing. Anyway, I will see you later. And don't forget, subscribe if you're new and haven't already. Ring the bell, get notifications. Like my videos, share my videos, and comment. Oh, she went back to the other one. She went Ella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you guys. See you next time. Bye. We'll be back at five. Goodbye. Show you. Okay.